Hello guys, this is me. I'm P212 here, and we are here with third round action as we are in the lead of the Midseason Classic. EA Sports and the PGA Tour proudly present the season-long race for the FedEx Cup. Today, it's live third round coverage of the Midseason Classic. Always a pleasure to be along the coast of Maine, Lighthouse Point to be exact. Rich Lerner alongside Frank Nabilo for EA Sports. Frank, this is sure to be another exciting day of golf out there. What are the challenges facing our players today? The length of the golf course for a start, Rich, this golf course just under 7,700 yards. So it's one of the longest ones you'll play. And of course the cliffs, that's why it's called this, they certainly are in play. There is one double green out there, that's the 10th and the 13th hole, they share the same green. Lots of great so design features and you've got it on a prime day in great condition. So enjoy the round and make sure you feast on the vistas as well. Here's to be what they call a commercial play, very solid. Well, that's how you play the game, right there. Who do you try again here today? Really hitting on all cylinders now. Nine under for the tournament. Par 4 7th here at Lighthouse Point is only 370 yards. Frank, are you unhappy if you walk out of here with anything other than a birdie? I think we'll see all sorts of different scores here, Rich. If you hit the fairway, then obviously you're definitely going to be looking at birdie. But uh, you stray or hit the wrong club off the tee, that's really what this hole's about. It's about club selection. You can hit a multitude of clubs off this tee. And he's set up for his second shot here, looking to knock it on the green. Generate some momentum here at the seventh hole. This for birdie. And getting ready for the putt. Yes! In for birdie. Another par three. We're at the eighth. It's only 165 yards, Frank. This hole really sets up well for the player. Brody yesterday, and a chance for another one today. Not a gimme, but well within his range. Rich, that just adds insult to injury to the rest of the field. Another birdie, and the gap even wider. And sensational performance. Uh, Tom Weisskopf was one of my idols growing up. I love the way he swung. That swing right there reminds me of my eye. And it looks like Rory McIlroy, Frank, sticking the follow through. Second shot. Oh, he gets a good kick. It's only in the first cut. Not too That's bad. not too bad. Frank, I like the way he sort of starts his swing a little bit on the outside and then drops it right on plane. And it makes the green in regulation. And he has it. A good putt redeems all. Now on the 10th hole here at the Cliffs at Lighthouse Point as we begin our trek homeward here at this magnificent golf course. This one puts a little fear into you, Frank. I'm looking at a par four and it's almost 600 yards. Help. Help, you're gonna need it, that's for sure. And one of the things they've done to help you is a, a big elevated tee, so that'll at least chew some of the yardage off. Uh, hopefully the prevailing breeze is also at your back, which might shorten that number up. Pretty generous fairway. Try and take those bunkers out of play with the big hefty club. And uh, when you get on the green, you're going to realize there's two greens here, Rich. Ten shares the same green as 13. Really good distance control there, playing well to his strengths from about eight feet. 
Yeah. Just an amazing display. The records continue to fall. Frank and Golf, there's nothing quite like the final round of a hotly contested championship, and this one could be a doozy. And there's nothing uh, quite like that leaderboard I'm looking at right now. We are going to have some amazing golf. This so one is going to have to be more equipment, some more, like, apparel, I think. So 13 and 9. So... The one that's next to us is Brooke Kapeka. So we're still first by the end of the third round. So going into the final round, let's do it. 